Um, we just know that we knew this moment could be possible as long as we put our minds, our body, as well as our spirit into it. We knew that this was possible and we got the job done today. So uh, we didn't put the world on notice. The world already knew who we were. Well, Shikari has always been confident of her abilities and pretty much outspoken about anything and everything, as all of you know. Like her, Jamaican champion Sharika Jackson is looking forward to Paris too. With the 2024 Paris Olympics drawing near, interest is focused on the race between Richardson and Jackson. The two seem to have rekindled the USA versus Jamaica feud. They are, after all, both incredibly gifted sprinters. Both athletes are set to face each other at the Olympics, which is scheduled to start in the next few weeks. With Shikari out of the running for the 200-meter gold, she and Sharika will instead be battling for the 100-meter gold. Now the question is, how ready are they for the 2024 Paris Olympics? Let's take a look at how they fared so far in the season. Starting with Jamaican track star Sharika Jackson. Notably, she had a late start to the season which appears to have been the trend for most sprint stars this season. When she finally opened her 2024 outdoor season in early May, it concluded with a 100-meter victory in 11.03 seconds at the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association. All comers meet in her homeland. At the time, she told Athletics Weekly that she's happy and healthy as she prepares to kickstart her Olympic year at the global level in the build-up to the Paris 2024 Games. From there, she started to make her way to the season. She made her first Diamond League appearance of 2024 at the fourth round elite track and field athletics competition series in the Moroccan city of Marrakesh. There, the Jamaican world champion prevailed in her first 200 meter race of the season. I think it was a pretty good race for the first race of my season, Jackson said after the race. The time is what it is. I tried to focus on my technique and execution. I think I did good. Fast forward to what could be considered her most important race before Paris, the Jamaica Olympic Trials. Jackson, a two-time 200-meter world champion and two-time 100-meter world runner-up who was third in the 100 at the Tokyo Olympics, won the women's 110, 84 sex with minus 0.3 meter per second wind. Again, emphasis on the fact that she won despite the 0.3 headwind. As can be expected of her, Sharika did not let nature interfere with her run, and as a result, she comfortably qualified for the major event in Paris. This was an interesting turn of events, given the fact that Jackson finished only second behind Tia Clayton during the semifinal. While Clayton clocked 10.83 to win, Jackson came in a distant second in 10.87, but the important thing is that she managed to successfully defend her 100-meter national title after outrunning her competitors. Her 10.84 was ahead of Tia Clayton at 10.90 in second and the 36-year-old Fraser Price in third at 10.94. This turned out to be a great development, especially since Sharika admitted that before entering the season, her goals were pre-tuned in her mind. It was to come to the Jamaica trials and make top three in both the events, she added. I did that, and now I am on my way to Paris, boasted the nimble-footed athlete, beaming with pride. She may have a plane seat with her name on it, but there's no guarantee that the 100-meter Olympic gold medal would be hers. I don't have an Olympic gold medal, and that is something that I'm definitely looking forward to this year. Jackson was noted saying, whether she gets it this year remains to be seen. What we do know is that some of Sharika Jackson's strongest competitors are from the USA. The first on the list would be the reigning 100-meter world champion, Shakari Richardson. Like Sharika, Shakari notably made a late start to the season as well. She ran her first 100-meter of the season in May, when she made a smooth victory in the women's 100 meter at the Diamond League Prefonting Classic in Eugene, Oregon. She blazed to victory in 10.83 seconds. Her time translated to the second fastest in the world at the time, trailing Jashis Sears, who logged a 10.77 in April. Today, however, it is Shakari who holds the world leading time this year after running 10.71 at the US trials. On that note, her campaign to go to her first Olympics is off to a solid start. 
She got through the opening round of the women's 100 meters without a hitch. She ran a 10.88 to finish first in the opening round of the event and advanced to the semifinals of the U.S. Olympic track and field trials. Furthermore, she may not have had the greatest of starts as one of her shoelaces appeared to come untied, but she managed to recover and win her heat and post the top overall time. From there, she's off to the semifinals, where she had another subpar start, but quickly closed the gap between 50 and 75 meters to pull ahead of the other sprinters. By the end of the race, Richardson won her semifinal heat with a time of 10.86 seconds. Tamari Davis finished second with a time of 10.99 seconds. Richardson and Davis qualified for the final round as a result of taking the top two spots in their heat. While Shakari didn't come close to executing her start how she wanted, in the first two rounds of women's 100 qualifying, she still ended up winning. That tells me I'm prepared, she told NBC in a post-race interview. I just need to put it all together. Then, there's the 100-meter final. As can be expected, Shakari claimed the 100-meter title at the 2024 U.S. Olympic team trials, clocking a world lead time of 10.71 for the victory. She was 0.09 seconds ahead of training partner Melissa Jefferson, the 2022 U.S. champion. Another sprinter in coach Dennis Mitchell's camp, Twanisha Terry, finished third and also earned a spot on the women's 100-meter team. What does this mean for Shakari? She can basically focus on fulfilling her Olympic gold medal dreams. Unsurprisingly, she's a heavy favorite to make the Olympic team in the 100 meters and 4x100 meters. Well, Sharika is too. When it comes to the head-to-head -head between Shakari Richardson and Sharika Jackson, the American trails her Jamaican counterparts 4-5. Their first meeting was at the 2021 Prefontaine Classic, where Richardson finished last and Jackson took bronze. Racing the same event a year later, the 24-year-old got her revenge when she finished ahead of the Jamaican to take silver. Jackson then went on to win their next two encounters, only for Richardson to one-up her and outdo her at the Doha Diamond League. Silesia Kamila Skolomowska Memorial and the 2023 World Athletics Championships. The duo's last clash came at the 2023 Prefontaine Classic, where Sharika Jackson finished first with a 10.70, while Richardson was just outside of the podium with a 10.80. Sharika Jackson, the four-time world champion, has shown strong form in the 2024 season, particularly excelling in the 200-meter and 100-meter events. But it is important to point out that Shakari didn't slack off either. After all, she holds the fastest time in the 100-meter this year. This is exactly why the clash between the American and Jamaican champions is much anticipated. Watch this to find out who else is coming to Paris.